adding set home to your Minecraft server. That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be using Essentials X to do that. Essentials X is a plugin that not only adds in slash home, but it also adds in spawn and teleporting and even has a ban system that you can use if you want. It's super, super in depth. And we're going to be going over how to use it for slash home in this video. So let's go ahead and download this first off. So to do that, go to the second link in the description down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide on how to download and install Essentials X. But once you're here, just click the yellow download Essentials X button. Then you get off to Spigot, where you want to go ahead and click the download now button. Finally, we land on the Essentials X download page. For this video, we're going to download Essentials X here. You actually don't need anything else, but I am going to grab Essentials X Spawn as well. I just personally like that plugin, so both of those are downloaded there. But you just need the Essentials X Core here in order to add homes to your server. I'm also going to grab Luck Perms. Luck Perms is a permissions plugin. It's the best one out there, bar none, for Minecraft servers. And homes is kind of a lot to do with permissions, so we're going to go ahead and download this as well. In the description, of course, click the download button. takes us to here. Click download now, and Luck Perms downloads automatically. Now, we are going to need a paper server in order to get this to work. That's because paper is what allows you to actually add plugins to your Minecraft server. If you don't have a paper server, guess what? In the description down below, you can go down here and watch our in-depth guide on getting a paper server. But you can also start a paper server with our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own paper Minecraft server in just a few clicks. We actually love and trust Apex so much that all of our Minecraft servers are hosted on Apex Minecraft Hosting. On top of that, Apex has 24 hours, 7 day a week support. It's super easy to add plugins like Essentials. And if you prefer to use mods, there are over 200 mod packs with one click installation at Apex Minecraft Hosting. So go check them out. The first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your paper server or use the tutorial here in the description. Nevertheless, Essentials is downloaded. At this point, we can minimize our browser here and we can install these plugins to our server. Right now, they're in our downloads folder. If you want to get to your downloads folder, click the little Windows icon, top of my screen, bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. Here's the downloads file folder and here are all the plugins we're installing. You can add these to your plugins folder in your server directory. Right there it is, the plugins folder. Just drag and drop right like so. And then we're going to go ahead and start our server. Let's go ahead and jump on to our Minecraft server so we can show you that these are in fact working. We'll go over some of the commands, then we'll talk about permissions, and then we'll kind of outro this video. So here we are on the server. First things first, we will need to op ourselves. Once we get the permissions set up, we won't need to do that. But if we go ahead and type op and then our username, boom, we are already an operator, but you might need to do that in the server console. Now though, we can actually move directly into Minecraft. And once we're directly in game, we can run these commands. So first off, let's go ahead and set a home. So we're gonna do slash set home in game, slash set home. And then we'll name this our first home, right? Boom, set home, first home is there. Now we can actually go to this home by doing slash home and then uh, first home, right? Bam, takes us to that home. But what if we want to uh, go to a different one here? What if we want to go over to, let's say a uh, island home? Yes, yeah, a very fancy. So if we come over here to the island, we can do slash set home and then island. And then bam, there we go. I was gonna set it to daytime. Boom, daytime is now set. And if we wanna go back to our first home, we can do slash home, first home. And then if we wanna to go to the island home, we can do slash home, island. Bam, and now we're on the island home. And you can see how powerful this is, by the way. Just teleporting back and forth around the world, setting homes. You can set these in the nether. You can set these anywhere. And it's super simple to do that. You just do slash set home, and then the name of the home that you want. So home name. And then you go to slash home, home name. Right? Boom. That's how that works. You can do slash home, like with the S at the end of homes. Boom. And then you can see all of your different homes. Now, if you notice there is a bed home there, if you place down a bed and then try to sleep in that bed, it will actually set your home to be that bed. So you can do slash home bed and go there, but we don't have a bed home set, right? So if you wanted to delete a home, you can also do that by doing slash Dell home and then the home name. So if we wanted to delete this island home because we wanted to say, uh, move it uh, right over here, we could do that. So we can now... If we do slash home island, it's no longer there. It just takes us to our first home. But if we go back to where we were, or well, we fly down to where we were, we can reset up the island home and then we'll be good to go, right? So we can come down here, wait for it, slash set home and then island. And now the island home works as it should. Boom, there we go. So if you want to set homes, all that stuff, that's how you can do it. But what about permissions? Well, there are a few different permissions that we want to talk about here in this video. The first is home bed. And if you want someone to be able to use the home bed, they're going to need the essentials.home.bed permission. So let's go ahead. And if you're using LUT perms, by the way, you're going to do LP group. And then we're going to use this to the default group because we want all the players on Minecraft server to have this. And then we're going to do permission set. And then you can do whatever the permission is. In our case, that's going to be essentials.home 
home dot bed, right? That's what it's going to be. You can set this to true. You can add a server to it if you want, but we're just going to set this right here. Bam. There we go. That one's added. That's what's going to allow people to use the bed home. There's also essentials.home, right? Just this all together, which is going to allow them to actually use slash home, right? So all your players will need that as well. We are also going to go ahead and add in the set home command because we want people to be able to set home. So essentials.set home. Then after that, we're going to do set home bed. Only add this if you want people to be able to use the bed home, right? The slash home bed that we were talking about. Only add that if you want them to be able to use that. And then last but not least, if you want people to be able to add multiple homes, you can do multiple here as well. Now, one of the things I will say is you can actually set up different ranks to have multiple homes. So you can do slash home dot multiple dot default, and that's going to be how adding the default group for homes. We'll set that up here in a minute. You could also do like a VIP if you wanted to. So if you had a VIP group on your server, let's say your LP group, and then you would change this to a VIP. Boom, you can now have a VIP setup. There's no group VIP found, but you get the idea. There is also set multiple homes unlimited. And as the name implies, this is gonna allow unlimited amounts of homes to be set no matter what the other permissions are, they will have unlimited. And then last but not least, if you want people to be able to delete a home, we wanna be able to do the essentials.home.delhome permission. Boom. There we go, except the group is wrong there. One second. Default group, there we go. I also did notice there that uh, there, there was a, another typo in that, so uh, boom, there we go. Now, I know that was a lot to throw at you all at one time, and for that reason, in the description down below, we do have linked this. This is the permissions list for Essentials X, and all of these are here. If you search for home, all of the permissions we just went over are here. As you can see, set home bed, set home multiple. But let's look at the uh, set home multiple again. Specifically, I was talking about the groups, and that's actually going to be in the configuration for Essentials. So if we go into Plugins, Essentials, and then we can go into Config here. This will open up with Adam. Adam is my preferred text editor, but uh, you can use whatever you want. If we search for Home, we'll be able to come down here and find, wait for it, Where's it going to be? Our homes section. Now in here, as you can see, you have set home multiple. So right now, the default group that we added could set three homes. If we wanted to be able to add 10 homes, we can do that, right? You can allow them to set 10 homes. You can create whatever you want in here. As I said, VIP, set to five. Staff, you could have that set to 10. You could have a VIP plus, right? And you could set this to be able to set like eight homes. You can add whatever you want in here and add in these different groups and you would just come back into Minecraft for your permissions and you would set this as, we jump back over here into Minecraft slash LP and then we're gonna do group default permission set and then we would do essentials.sethome.multiple.default or VIP plus or staff. It, it, it doesn't matter what you set it to, right? So that's going to correspond with the number in the config as to how many homes can be set. So that's how you can add homes to your Minecraft server. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. There are also some other stuff that's worth looking at in the home config. So if we open this back up, there are some other stuff in here, as you can see, world home permissions. Do you want to allow your permissions per world? Update bed at daytime. Only at daytime does it update the bed, only at night you can set that. Compass home as well, you can set the compass to point towards your home. For example, the bed home I believe is what it goes to, uh, or their first home, seems like it can also be done there. Spawn if no home, so if there's no home, players will go to spawn instead of their home. And then confirm home overwrite, you can confirm whether someone wants to override an existing home or not, by default that's set to false. So there you go, that is how you can add homes to your Minecraft server, and quickly and easily be able to do slash home first home or whatever you want the name to be. So nonetheless, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. We'll see you in the next video and I'm out. Peace.